Marty Nolenberg, the owner of Sedona Tap House Restaurants in Troy and Novi. Marty, welcome back to the show. Yeah, thank you. And uh, yeah, we're excited to, to be able to reopen and uh, we've been waiting a long time and uh, we think we're ready. Um, we've been, you know, working on this for a long time. It's been a long time since um, we were shut down. And so we've been trying to figure out how, if and when we do open, what that looks like, how we can make the restaurant a safe and inviting environment for our guests and how we can also provide safety for our employees. So we think we're ready. Um, obviously there's a number of challenges and it's, uh, it'll be a little rough uh, get, to get going, but you know, we think we're prepared and uh, we're just excited to be able to do what we do and that's you know, provide hospitality for our guests. It seems like such a simple pleasure and activity, being able to go out and sit down at a bar or sit down at a restaurant table and share a meal with some really good friends or maybe meet some other people. But, you know, we've not had the right to do that over the past several months, and it's been hard, and I'm sure people are going to be very enthusiastic as they have an opportunity to get back at it on uh, on Monday. Marty Nolenberg, I know you're looking forward to it. So you mentioned you've been talking about and, and thinking about uh, this day for a little while. Anything special, anything unique, any challenges that you want to share with us that uh, went into uh, your preparations for Monday? Yeah, I think, you know, for us, you know, the Michigan Restaurant Association has been very diligent. They created a, a roadmap um, about how to reopen. The National Restaurant Association has done the same. And, and that's been out for, I want to say, you know, a month or so. And, you know, my partner and I, we spend, you know, probably several hours a day at least, you know, going through the Internet, Facebook, getting news, how we can make this place more safe uh, for our guests, how we uh, can you know, make sure our employees feel safe. Obviously, a number of things out there, social distancing, the six, six foot rule, uh, masks, hand sanitizers. Um, we've had to revamp you know, our employee manuals, so they understand the safety protocols in place. Um, we've been in touch with them from day one, and a number of them are starting to feel more comfortable about coming back a month ago, maybe not so much the case, but today they feel more comfortable. And our job is to make sure they feel comfortable and and train them so that it is safe for them and, and for our guests as well. And so, um, you know, for example, you know, we will have an actual designated person or two or three, and all they do is clean and disinfect 24, I should say 24 hours a day, but the entire time that we're open, all they will do is clean, disinfect, wipe tables down, doorknobs, um, you know, just, just keeping the place clean. And, and um, I think people will feel more comfortable. So that's one of the things that we've done um, among a number of other things. So uh, we think it's going to be, uh, we can provide a safe environment for our guests. And I think you're right. Guests are, you know, I think they're ready to go out. I think they're itching to get out of the house. They want to socialize, you know, and, and people, you know, um, are social people. And so our menus, I, I, I should mention, we've got disposable menus. And, and, and so I think all these things will make our guests feel more comfortable. Marty, I think so. Uh, I, I think it, it's going to be great on Monday. Your establishments, the Sedona Tap House restaurants in Troy and, and Novi, and then all the other establishments across the county. We're looking forward to it being a very successful day on Monday. I, I was, as I have a place in northern Michigan, able to head up there over the past couple of weeks and see the restaurants opening up there as well. And, you know, my observation, people did a really, really good job. But it it's going to take, I think, a couple of days for people to get comfortable with this. And I think you're, you're wise in letting people know all the precautions you're taking. I, I don't know that it's so much that people are scared of getting sick. It's just we're kind of out of practice a little bit. And it's going to take a little bit to get people right. back into the routine. Don't you think it's going to take a little bit? Yeah, I think, I mean, I think it'll start out, hey, if it, you know, we can only have 50% capacity. So, right. um, you know, that's by law, obviously, if the governor 
lift that, then then we'll allow more people to come in. But that alone will obviously begin this slow ramp up. I, I think we're going to meet that target fairly quickly. You know, <laughs> okay. We hope to get to 100 percent, you know, like we were before. But I think the slow ramp up, um, we, we'd love to have a, have 100 percent occupancy because we think people are itching and, and ready to get out. So. Well, everybody get over and see Marty at Sedona Tap House Restaurant on Monday and uh, do all you can to get, get them filled up. So, you know, as broadcasters, we think we're experts in everything, so I am I have endless advice for everybody. Uh, Marty Nolenberg, my advice for you uh, would be to come up with some kind of a uh, COVID-19, post-COVID-19 uh, cocktail, you know, just some kind of a drink. Now. I like it. Uh, I talked to another establishment earlier on the show. I like theirs. Maybe this will uh, motivate some thought for you to put something on your uh, on your uh, 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 your menu. But they came up with the idea of a quarantini, a quarantini. I kind of like that. So uh, you know, maybe I, I suggested maybe like it would be some kind of a COVID nineteen thing, and then right off the top of her head, said, "Well, we're we're making quarantinis on Monday." So I don't know, maybe some kind of a of a drink would help get people relaxed. I, I'm I'm gonna write it down right now. <laughs> I think if you offer a quarantini, um, I don't think the people at uh, at the steakhouse in Kegel Harbor are gonna have a problem with uh, you um, following their lead on that one. Marty Nolenberg, um, I really appreciate you being with us today. Um, anything you would have been done, you would have done different, or would be doing different if you were still a member of the Senate or the legislature, as uh, virtually everyone listening today knows you were. You know, I I, I, try, I try to stay out of that as, 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 as much as possible. Now I'm just trying to make an you know a, a living for my family and provide you know a safe uh, you know opportunity for our employees. And you know we have over 160 employees, and I welcome them back. And I think they're anxious to get back. And you know we're proud of the fact that we are able to employ people. And and so I get a lot of satisfaction out of that. And also just a great experience, you know, for our guests. I mean, that's the hospitality business. You know, I, I just wish that, you know, the governor had been a little more consistent. I mean, you know, obviously, you know, I was reading Nolan Finley's article the other day. It's, it's okay for a dentist to see patients, but not okay for a hair, you know, dresser or a barber to cut hair. And so there's been some inconsistency there, but I'll let the lawmakers do that one out. You know, we're just trying to you know, be in the business of hospitality and get all the people back working and providing a great experience for our guests. All right. Look how happy you are on the sidelines, Marty Nolenberg. Well said. Well done. Thank you very much. Thank you for allowing me to ask. And uh, I'll sneak over and uh, we can get a chance to say hello in person. And uh, I'll expect a cold quarantini uh, when I arrive. We look forward to seeing you. You let me know and, and we'll have a special drink <laughs> specifically for you how's that all right i like it all right marty thank you very much congratulations and i hope everything goes great next week okay